Well, so today we are creating our real time, real time chat application that is global. So anyone can chat in this chatting application, and don't worry, a private chat messenger is also being processed, and that video will also be soon uploaded in the channel. So let us start. Have a let's have a demo of this application, and then we will build this application from scratch. Scratch meaning from beginning. So let's have a quick demo of this application, and this application actually works with two or more devices. Like it's not like only one device. It's a showcase. No, it will work with ten devices, also twenty devices, also. So first we have to enter the username. Here. Suppose here I will type Adela. Here I will type Seema. And here I am going to write suppose any name Rahul. Then I am going to send a message with Adela that Hello Seema and and Rahul. Let's just type hello Seema and Rahul. Then I'm sending this message. Then I'm receiving this message from Seema as well as Rahul. So can we see that all the messages there are there from Edula? That the message has been came from Edula. That hello Seema and Rahul. Can we see in every day? I mean, is it? It's so cool. So now, if I send a different message with Seema, like "Hello," like "How are you doing?" both, and if I send this message, now to receive it, I will go to Rahul, receive this message from both of them, and now I can see that it is being like Seema has Seema has sent a message that "How are you doing?" both. See Seema just a message from Seema. The name is also showing that the message is "How are you doing?" Both, isn't it? So it is showing. Now, if I send a message from Rahul, that what about studies, guys? And I'm going to send this message. Then yeah, to receive it, I will just click this receive button, and then see to in every device is showing that what from Rahul messages what about study guys study guys see and again I can send a message it's all good like this and I will send a message and I will receive it. Is showing. See, in every device, it's showing means this is a global time chat application with every device you can chat with every, anyone in this entire world who has your project link can chat with you. Now there is one more thing: report user. Like if you want to report any user, so just then send the report user, and it is it is also real time. It will be in real time. It will go so. So this is exactly what we are going to create today. So let's start creating this type of application. So first of all, we are doing is going to code.org. Then we are creating a new app lab project. So basically. Here in this application, when I go to view it, I can see that there are two screens: screen number one and screen number two. So let's so only two screens. This is screen one. It is this and screen two. It is so let's create. So first of all, we are going to design, and we are actually. What are we doing? We are just importing the screen so that our time is less consumed. 
So in screen number one, whatever you're doing exactly is you will add a button with background color as red. Here you will write report user. Then you are going to add a label which will be your username and here you will add a text input. And here you will add a text area that is this text area is there here. Here you will add a text input and two send messages that is send message and this will be received. So what you can do is the send messages rotate it and will get it here. So and screen number two you are just going to make a back button. Then you are going to make a username or the user to be reported. Then a text area that is what is the reason why are you reporting him. And then submit and then you will add this label that your appy has been sent for review. And if the reported user is found suspicious, he or she will be banned. So now let's just start creating our application. So what are we doing here exactly is. So now I am sending the message to the user. So here I am doing is that on the event when button 1, this button 1 that is send is clicked. Then it is going to create a record that is message here that the name is message and then it is going to create a record that is message then it will show from username message and all so if you want to see it then please just have a look on event when button one is clicked then it is going to create a record that is message and it will show the details like Go from where the who is the username. Now this information will be cached by this text input three. Now message the message would be like the message is going to be as from this text input one, right? So this is exactly what. So I want you all to code this app with me. And now what we are doing is we are creating like to receive the message if the, when button 2 is clicked when button 2 is clicked then it is going to set the text of this area 1 as null then it is going to read the records from message which the table which we have created by sending the message and for variable i is equal to 0 and I is written in the records of well, then it will going to set the text it is going to set the text area what is going to take set the text area as it is going to set the text area as like from the messages from the username like which we have here see from username to so this it is going to add that from the records you have to add the message that is from username then plus it is going to add message then message which is plus the records dot message which we have already been the message to so send the message so if i show you this in blog you can very much see and take a snip of it if you want for your you like if you want to use it you can just take a snip and see Set text area from record is plus. I hope that's pretty clear. Now, if I run this application, what if I run this application? If I copy this link and if I paste it here, I will just remove this edit part and just see whether is it working with two or more devices or not. So here, your username suppose Edula. And here username I'm typing is Sima. Here I'm throwing was uh, meaning was uh, sent. Now I will receive the message. So it is showing from Edula messages and defining there is a mistake here. So if I run it from here only, suppose hey, suppose I'm just doing the type card you send. Let's see what error is it coming. It's showing undefined. Why is it showing undefined? Let's have a look. Because the spelling of here message is wrong. The spelling of message here is wrong. That is why it's showing. See. 
so these mistakes shall not happen again we will try so here let's do again edula and hello i mean send a message and receive it yes now it's correct so now let's just now we will go share this link to just check if it's working to check if it is working with two or more devices and hope there is no error now edula sima so start writing here sima send message now in order to receive i'll go to here and receive so yes it's going from it will message sima from edula the message is sima like this so here we will type edula send and i will receive the message here so what are interesting now for the report user like this code it so now we are doing that when this button is clicked that report user is clicked then it is going to set then the screen number to that is this one and this label will be hidden now sub when the submit button is clicked and when a successful record has been created in the record then it will be shown them the text would be everything would be empty and it will show them this label that your report has been sent for review and then all so if i run and if i report user username suppose seema and reason for reporting misbehaving submit so after a successful record has been created it is showing your appeal has been sent for review tell the user like so now if i go to data so here there are two two percent message and reported users so here Schema and with it, so we can just. So right now, this feature is not useful. Like we can just delete the messages of Schema here. We can simply delete the message of Schema, so that now the users do, will don't will don't find Schema's messages. And then now the the user has been reported. So I guess we can just delete it. Or if we do a login system, then we can delete Schema's ID. What this is what we can do. so that was interesting so yeah.